Hello friends, I'm Manak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our tutorial series on SketchUp. So friends, in the previous video, we had seen how to use some of the tools of SketchUp. So in this video, I'll model a 12 feet into 14 feet room in SketchUp. So let's get started. So first I'll go select the rectangle tool. I'll select the origin. And then I want to create a rectangle of 12 feet into 14 feet. Since my base unit is mm, so I'll enter 12 feet, comma, 14 feet. Then I'll press enter. So I have created a rectangle of 12 feet into 14 feet. Now I want to create the walls. For that, I will take offset of 250 millimeters. So I'll select on the edge and then I'll press 250 enter so then I want to give the walls a height of 3.2 meters so I'll use the push and pull tool and then I'll select this and then I'll give it a height of 3.2 meters 3.2 meters and then enter so having done that now I want to create the doors and windows for that I'll go select the tape measure tool and then I'll make some construction lines. Let's create a construction line 600 mm from here. And then for the doors, I'll give a width of 900 mm. Height of the doors, I'll keep 2.1 meters or 2100 mm. So the construction lines on my door is ready. Now I'll just using the orbit tool I'll rotate this and then I'll make some more construction lines. Let us say 600 mm from here and the width of the window I'll keep as 1200 mm. So I'll click on here. I'll enter 1200. Enter and then height of the seal level I'll enter 750 750 is the height of my seal and the height of my length level is 2100 2.1 meter so I've created the construction lines for my door and window now what I will do is I'll draw a rectangle. I select the rectangle here. The spell row just rotate it. Then I'll draw the rectangle. And then I'll use the push and pull tool to create a hole like that. See? You can see that in the orbit. So a hollow space has been created for the windows. Similarly, you can do it for doors also. First, I'll create a rectangle here. And then I'll use the push and pull tool. So I've created the space for doors and windows. Now I want to insert the doors and windows. So you can create the door and window by yourself or you can download from the internet. I will give a link of one downloaded model in my description please download it and you can use it in this model so I've already downloaded that so I'll copy it from here I'll select this and I'll press ctrl plus C and then I'll move to my model and then press ctrl plus V I'll click on here so now my door and window has been imported so I have to place it here. So I will select the door. I will click on move. And then I will select one end point. And then I will select another end point here. So my door has been placed. And next for the window. We will just rotate this. And select the window. I will click on the move tool. Select an end point here and then select another endpoint here. Over the window I have to move it inward. 
So I'll click on the select tool and then I'll select the window. Then I'll select the move tool. I want to move it inwards by a distance of 100 mm. So my window and door is ready. Now I want to insert the roof. For that I can use the line tool. I'll just click here, then click here. So my roof is ready. If I want to give the roof a thickness of 100 mm, I can use the push and pull tool like this 100 zero, zero, mm, the thickness of slab, and I also can increase this also on face. So my 12 feet into 14 feet room is ready, as you can see that. So, friends, how did you find this video? Please let us know in the comment section and do like and share with your friends. Bye bye.